Hi, this is Joanna, and welcome to Moonwater Tarot, and thank you for those that are returning to watch. I very much appreciate it. Uh, this is your reading, Virgo, for September 2016, and if you would like a private reading with me, I would love to do one for you. You can reach me at my website, which is moonwatertarot.com. I also do provide the video readings too, so you can look under Tarot Services and see what I offer, my products and services. Also, if this reading does not resonate with you, watch your moon and or rising sign. So, uh, because I am reading for so many of you. Okay, so let me focus here. September... In Virgo. Okay, Virgo. September 2016. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, these cards have been really flipping over for people. Um... I was just getting ready to go, and then this card flipped over, and it is the Three of Swords. Now, remember, every card has its positive and negative, and technically, it's like August 20th. So, for me, you know, this can mean so many different things, um, but... Uh, it's interesting, too, because the number three came up for another reading. The, so the number three may have some major significance to you. It may have been possibly three years or three months or three weeks or three days since something has happened. Um, possibly also, I feel like uh, some of you for whom this message applies, it's not going to apply to everybody, maybe going through some healing. Um, you may also know somebody who maybe has or is going to be going in for some type of heart surgery. Could be very minor, uh, doesn't have to be anything major. Could also be, um, you know, blood pressure issues and not anything surgically related. But it also could be, you know, like thoughts of um, sadness or sorrow or some type of, um, you know, loss regarding love uh, with the heart here. So let me put this back in and see if it comes out. If it does not come out, I will still pull it. And I always like to pull the card in front and behind it. So let me go through this one more time, Virgo. Also, sometimes for me, the number three can, does also can represent like, um, you know, third time uh, or, or I guess it was more like three strikes you're out or third time's a charm or somebody may have three children or something like that. Um, but let's just see what happens. Okay, Virgo. Okay, that's it, all right. Okay, so Virgo, September 2016. What are the main messages for Virgo? Okay, let's see what it comes out. Gosh, the tower. Okay. The Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, wow, and the Queen of Swords. We have two Queens. Let's see what's underneath. The Two of Cups, wow. That may be why the three, I feel like there's a decision and there could be three people involved here. We also have the high priestess too. 
Okay, so let me get the Three of Swords out. Yeah, see, this is... Uh, wow, okay, because this is... See, I felt like this may be... Uh, since I was filming this, I'm filming this in August. There could be a situation that has already happened or that somebody is healing from um, because this is the number eight, which oftentimes these cards, some cards represent places to me. Sometimes they, you know, represent a month. So like the eighth month, which is August. Um, and we also kind of have two fours in a row here. There's, there may be a situation regarding the, the home, thus the tower or, you know, uh, so, okay. Let me um, get this all organized. I'm going to reset the camera and get the tripod going and we'll get started so you can see this all. All right. Thanks. All right, so Virgo, I hope that you can see this much better. I want to say that I feel like either Aquarius, Leo, and possibly Scorpio, um, you know, the, the High Priestess also represents to me Pisces and you, Virgo. Um, so... You, you definitely are are here in your own reading, that's for sure. Um, what's so interesting to me, uh, let me first add up these numbers. So 7, 8 is 15, which becomes a 6, plus 4 is 10, that's a 1. Then we have 16, which becomes a 7, plus this is 8. And then a nine. I hope I did my math correctly. I'm getting a nine. I'm sure if I'm wrong, somebody will tell me. It's interesting, too, because I believe Pisces had a nine. Everything added up to a nine in Pisces. And they, they had a, the nine of swords fly out on their card. You've got quite a few swords here. And we have two queens uh, what's also very interesting is we have two twos here and this is the underlying theme. So this is the card underneath and the high priestess. So not only do I feel like balance is going to be important, but some of you, uh, may be having a very difficult decision to make in September or there's some indecisiveness. Uh, it may also be that there may be a situation where you may not be able to make the decision. Maybe the decision is made for you or you lean upon somebody to help you through this. Um, now, I this is the card that flew out. Remember the, the three of swords that I was talking about? Um, like I said, this could be heartbreak. This can represent sorrow, sadness, uh, grief of some kind. Um, it definitely can represent uh, three situations, three people, as I said earlier. Um, it may also be that something could also be that something gets rejected. Um, often to me, the twos... When I think of balance, when that word comes to my mind, it, I, I do pick up on like the legal system. So maybe that's why earlier I got three strikes, you're out. Because I know in the United States, there's a law. I don't know if that's just in California. Um, but there could be rejection of some kind. But I am I feel that there is, for some of you, a choice in love where you have the power in your hands or you have a decision. Now, just because these are coming across as queens does not necessarily have to mean they're female. This is interchangeable to me. Um, so male, female, but there's a choice. Um, and... They're definitely, you know, she's coming across to me as also very much 
a decision maker here and trying to be fair to both sides. So this may also be, the way this is coming across is there may be a division within family or division of assets is what I'm hearing. There may be a division of a home. We have the tower here, um, you know, and like I said earlier, remember I was talking about surgery or heart surgery or something, you know, like this could be, um, I'm getting, oh, what is that? I, this is, I don't feel, I mean, I feel like this is something that somebody's aware of, um, but um, something uh, I'm hearing the tri-state area. I don't know why I heard that, but triple bypass is something that I just heard. So I feel like and it could be like putting in a stint or getting something ablazed, like an ablation. Uh, if somebody has like, I don't know, atrial flutter or atrial fib, something like that. Um, but, but I feel like there's something also within like moving, and I just wonder if this, I'm picking this up also as it could be weather related, almost like, um, I don't know. I'm getting something electrical. I mean, this, you know, so just, you know, how they uh, heed the warnings, um, you know. Just make sure, like, if it's, if there's storms coming, you know, you take precautions, you're, you know, if they tell you, if there's like, uh, I don't know, I'm just getting something stormy, uh, like weather-wise. Um, you know, like when they say when there's storms or lightning, you know, don't swim in the pool, don't go stand underneath a tree. Don't continue golfing. You know, th those types of things. Like, heed the warnings is what I'm being led to say. Um, now, this is also in, uh, I like the aces. It is um, an opportunity, but my, you know, uh, it's in my challenge position, which means that there could... I just feel like there's some type of indecisiveness. So maybe the power is out of your hands and it's up to somebody else, like a judge, or you're waiting to hear a message regarding someone uh, or regarding a situation. This could definitely be job related. Uh, that you're waiting to hear, did I get that job or, you know, and maybe if there's a possibility, it's between you and another candidate, it's down to two people and that's why the two is here. Um, that's why the high priestess is in reverse. Um, you know, there's kind of a delay uh, where you would, you're ready to move, you're ready to go forward. Um, there's something that is... Um, slowing you down but i have to say in possibly you know the next eight hours eight days eight weeks um or by the you know the end of september you there's something that changes and it changes swiftly uh and a decision is made or you a decision is made that will affect you uh, this could be very indicative of a an announcement of a job offer. There may even be definitely travel involved, um, and um, and a move, and and maybe this just you know this happens out of the blue, just suddenly something happens. Now, and this can be very quick, so it doesn't mean that this, you know, every card has its positive and its negative. I will say this, that um, I'm also picking up uh, something about, I'm being pulled to New York City. I wonder if there is, 
Okay, this kind of makes sense to me. Uh, I, I feel like maybe s someone is going to New York City in honor, and it could be in honor of two or maybe three people uh, that possibly, I feel like this is related to um, September 11th. That somebody is making like a trip in honor of someone else or maybe to go and see the memorial. That's how I'm seeing this. So, um, and, and maybe there's something else going on there. Um, I feel like there's, there's, an uh, an honor honoring of someone uh in some way and i somebody viewing this video is going there or they know somebody um they're affiliated somehow that's how this is coming uh very strongly across to me and uh Wow, very, very powerful. So uh, um, I, I needed to say that. That's one thing I, I wanted to say. Um, but I also feel that there may be, in terms of somebody possibly going, and I'm being pulled in an easterly direction, so east from you, this may require travel. Doesn't mean that you're offered a job, for example, um, on the East Coast, but maybe you have to go for an interview or maybe you're interviewing on, I don't know, Skype or Hangout or, or you know, something um, with somebody, you know, on the East Coast or uh so, and there may be a decision in terms of work that needs to be made. Um, and there may be two opportunities and you're having a difficult time because these opportunities may be very disruptive to the home. Um, because it's going to require a move. So this could be that all of a sudden somebody gets offered a job and they're like, uh, we have to move to the East Coast or something like that. Or, and, you know, I don't know. I'm just getting drawn East. So, um, so that could definitely happen. And that's why the tower is here. It's just all of a sudden, you know, very quickly something changes. And this is very much, you know, speed, a swift change movement. This could also be indicative of air travel, especially with all these swords. There's communication by air. Now, I'm also getting that with the high priestess here. Okay, you know, some of you may have uh some you know very strong spiritual abilities or gifts that you are kind of ignoring because i feel like somebody is able to communicate with the uh, like with the other side um and i'm seeing this as like a third like your third eye opening and it it maybe it, it freaks you out or scares you <laughs> so for those of you who have some gifts um, that could happen or, you know, you, you, you kind of spiritually you're, you're opening up more and more and something happens and maybe that's why the high priestess is in reverse because you're kind of, um, see, I'm focused on this and I'm almost seeing this as her third eye. Uh, I feel like because this is upside down and it's what's going to help you is to kind of listen to your inner voice, your inner guidance, your intuition. You don't necessarily have to rely on somebody else. Listen to your own guidance and maybe you're not. Uh, 
And, uh, but some of you may, or someone may experience a big awakening. And, uh, and maybe that's why this is, you know, it's, it scares you. Um, because, you know, this, it's like a shakeup. Um, especially this card with the tower. Uh, so... Let me see if there's anything else. As I said earlier, there's a big decision that, you, that you're going to be making or someone's making on your behalf. And you may be pulled and, and not sure what to do. Um, but with the Queen of Swords here, I feel like you gain clarity. Sorry, my flash just went out. Um, but you gain clarity um, or you get a sign or there's a messenger, you know. Um, I always like to say, like, when I'm stuck, I, I, I ask for a sign or um, there's, I, and I'm very much focused on this bird here. So I feel like for some of you, you will receive a sign uh, which will help you gain clarity. That's what I'm getting. And, you know, for some of you, it's from the other side. I feel like it's a, a, a past loved one that maybe you are grieving for. Or, you know, there's a sign. Pay attention to the signs around you or... You see, you know, if there's a dove or a butterfly or uh, I don't know, the smell of a flower brings or uh, brings something or cologne or perfume or something. Feel like smelling, smelling something will will help in some way. So be very intuitive. If you, don't second guess yourself, if something doesn't feel right to you, you know, listen to it. Don't, don't like double question. Okay. I think that's really important. So I hope Virgo that this helps you in some way. Thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it and take good care of yourself. All right. Okay. Bye.